Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look, closer look at the Yale RN11 6-pin ZA key blank. This is a restricted key blank that require is that the factory will require a letter of authorization or a dropship direct to the end user. Um, this would be a keyway that is restricted in the sense that you won't find it uh, commercially available at your cobbler, at your um, home center. It can be purchased through uh, authorized distributors of Yale products such as ourselves. You can uh, expect to be able to purchase it, but you will have to most likely provide a letter of authorization if there's any work that we're to do here on the system or it would drop ship directly to you. The Z family is a series of restricted keyways. There is more than one Z keyway. This is ZA. Um, this is a, according to the factory, a simplex keyway, which means it does not participate in a multiplex system. There are no other keyways that will pass this, no multi or all section keyways that will pass this is at all. The RN11, that's worthy of dissecting what RN11 means. So the R is the bow. Okay. The 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 classic Yale round head bow. The N means nickel silver. That means the blank is manufactured of nickel silver. It is a superior base material in terms of strength to brass, even though this has a brass coating on it. Um, you will find nickel silver blanks probably not the best to use for impressioning because they're harder than the brass pins that are in the brass uh, pin tumblers that are in the cylinder. Even though you can file that away, you'd probably want to get your hands on a brass cylinder, a brass key blank for impressioning. So this is a nickel silver key blank that it's just going to be a more durable metal. Uh, the 11 tells us that it's six pin is what the dissection of that part number means. And then the ZA tells us it tells us it's a simplex restricted keyway, uh, key section. Uh, there you go. Yale, of course, uh, is the uh, Yale, Linus Yale Jr. actually invented the modern pin tumbler system that we all use probably every single day. Um, so Yale goes back to the mid-19th century type of work. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Yale products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog and Interestingly enough, several archival catalogs um, with uh, available there for your review from Yale, Yale and Town. Um, I use it. A customer will, one way or another, show me a lock, a mortise lock from the 1920s. All he knows is it says Yale on it. I can probably pull up a catalog to see what it was and be able to work towards uh, knowing what we can do to help is the bottom line. A catalog that's 100 years old is, is there for, you know, purely academic pursuit. But understanding what hardware was once upon a time allows us to better understand what hardware is today. At least that's my opinion. Any questions on the RN11ZA or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.